All right, perfect. Hi there. My name is Nicole Warren, bringing you another yoga 30-minute posture sequence. Uh, today's sequence is design, designed specifically for athletes. So whether you're a runner, whether you hike, whether you're golfing, baseball, softball, this, uh, this sequence I have designed is specifically designed to open up shoulders, ankles, hips, and knees. So we always start in the middle of our towel to get grounded with our pranayama breathing. It's a controlled breathing good for the lungs, the respiratory system. You'll breathe in by the nose, out by the mouth, using the throat. So lungs, everything, is just nose is your passageway. So toes and heels together, interlock your fingers underneath your chin. Thumbs touch the throat, stretch up out of your waist, hips forward. Concentrate, meditate, begin please. Inhale, head down, arms up, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up, stomach in, spine straight, hips forward, elbows up, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, pranayama breathing, warming up the body from the inside out, full lungs. Exhale, head up, chest lifted, spine straight, contract thighs, hips forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Synchronize the movement of your arms and your head with your breath, full six second count. Exhale, head up, eyes open, mouth open, H-A, ha sound, elbows forward, detach. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch, inhale, head down, chin against hands, hands against chin, press your feet, stretch up through your waist, full lungs, exhale, head up, chest lifted, spine straight, stomach in, elbows up, elbows touch, inhale, head down, chin against hands, hands against chin, Contract by stretch up through the crown of your head, full lungs. Exhale, head up, eyes open, only arms and head move, hips forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, stomach in, think stomach tight, 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 rib cage open, full lungs. Exhale, head up, Head back, no backward bending, only arms and head move, hips forward, elbows touch. Last one here, inhale, head down, eyes open, mouth closed, biggest breath of the day, take one more ship at the top. Exhale, head up, head back, way, way back, try to see the wall behind you, elbows touch. And that's enough, arms down by your side. You can go ahead and swell a couple times, roll those shoulders out. The rest of the class will breathe in by the nose, out by the nose. So toes and heels together for half moon pose. Arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your body rear waist and bend your body right and left several times. So use this as your first diagnostic, right? First stretch of the day, moving that body left and right, moving with your breath. When you can't stretch anymore, stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with ears, no gaps between arms and ears. Now push your hips forward, opening hips and pelvis, upper body back, open chest and ribcage throughout the posture, maximum body weights in your heels. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight lines, slowly bend your body to the right and continuously push your hips to the left. So feel the stretching down the left side of your body, all over inside out. Now squeeze biceps to ears, bring your arms back, bring that left hip forward, right shoulder forward, come down and push. Push, push, inhale, come up. Inhale, full lungs, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight lines, slowly bend your body to the left and continuously push your hips to the right. So try not to sink into it. 
Keep stretching to the corner of the room. Use the right hip to drive your posture. Squeeze those palms together. Now bring that right hip forward. Left shoulder forward. Come down and push. Push, push. Inhale, come up. First back bend of the day. Back may hurt, don't be scared. Inhale, breathing full lungs. Drop your head back. Relax your neck. Find that spot in the ceiling. Engage your glutes and stretch up out of your waist and reach your arms back behind you. Try to see the wall behind you. Bending your spine backwards, coccyx to neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending, glutes engaged. Push your hips forward, arms back, look back, lift the chest, go back. Change, inhale, breathing, come up. Stretch up, stomach in, hinge forward. Put both hands on the floor for Padahastasana, hands to feet pose. Start to move your hips right and left several times, right and left. To make sure lower back is total relaxed, nice, loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. You can do a deep knee bend if that feels good to you. Shake your head right to left. And when you're ready, grab your heels from behind. Thigh fingers together, baby fingers touch. Elbows behind your calf muscles. Pull your heels, stretch your body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees, face to legs, no gap anywhere. Now slowly push your knees back. Try to lock your knees, shoulders out of yours. Use the biceps, pull your heels. Push your knees back, lock your knees. Roll forward to your toes, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees. Change, inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together, core nice and tight. Come all the way up to the top. Arms down by your side. Chair pose, right foot step to the right. Six inches between feet. Heels directly behind your toes, looks like a perfect H. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down as you bring your arms up toward the ceiling. So we're opening up shoulders. You should feel compression in those ankles. Keep stretching fingertips to the ceiling. Come down one more inch and hold for four, three, stomach in, two, one, change. Inhale, come back up, right foot back to place. Eagle pose, got to rest. Now we're going to work on shoulders, ankles, hips and knees. Toes and heels together. Arms over your head sideways. Swing your right arm underneath left. Cross at the elbows, twist like rope. So you can put back a palm to back a palm or interlace those fingers, whatever you have today. Now pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Sit down nice and low. Arch your upper body back, find that weight in the heels. Inhale, right leg lift up. Stretch over, cross, wrap and twist. If you don't have that wrap yet, no problem. Point the foot in the direction you wanna go. If you have that wrap, slide that foot down a little bit more, close off that gap. Now squeeze knees together, elbows together, wrists together, chin up, upper body back. Change, arms up. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, swing left arm under right. So we're opening 14 major joints here, starting with the shoulders, so make sure you relax them. Pull your elbows down, stomach in, sit down. Now arch your upper body back. Inhale, left leg lift up. Stretch over, cross, wrap and twist. Again, if you don't have that wrap, no problem. If you do, slide it down, close off that gap, no gap between ankle and calf muscle. Now sit down a little bit more and lean back. That will help with your balance. Knees to the left, upper body to the right, feet, knees, elbows, everything in one line. Pull your elbows down, stomach in, upper body back at the end. Change, arms up, arms down by your side. Starting to get that heart rate up here. So come to the back of your towel for balancing stick. We wanna work on improving cardiovascular circulation. Posture's only 10 seconds. If you're late, you miss it. Toes and heels together, arms up over your head sideways. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers. Now squeeze biceps to ears. It will keep your palms together. Stretch up, chin up, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. Right leg step forward, lock both knees. Arms, body, head, leg. Everything come down to your parallel to the floor. From the side, a letter T is in terrific. Now get that body down, leg up. 
lock your knee, point your toes, stretch, 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 change, inhale, breathing, come up, stretch up, inhale, left side, step it forward, lock both knees, arms, body, head, leg, everything come down. So keep looking for feet in front of you, squeeze biceps to ears, squeeze that right glute, leg up, leg up, leg up, stretch, 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 change, inhale, breathing, come up, arms down by your side, breathe in by the nose, exhale by the nose, so calm the breath, calm the practice. We'll bring that heart rate down for standing separate leg stretching, so come to the left side of your towel, toes inhales together, arms over your head sideways, right foot step to the right big step four feet if you have it so arms are nice and strong pigeon toe your feet and lock your knees so when I say lock your knees I want kneecaps lifted so squeeze inner thighs kneecaps are lifted stomach in and you hinge forward keep stretching forward the more you stretch forward you're creating length traction in your spine allowing you to grab your heels from behind if you can't grab your heels, grab the outsides of your feet. Now pull your heels, stretch your body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Roll forward, try to touch your forehead. Forehead's not touching, open up that right leg a little bit more. Good, now everyone lock your knees, feel your hips stretching. Press the insteps of your feet to the ground. Now your hamstrings are stretching, shoulders out of ears. Use the biceps, pull your heels chin forward, touch your forehead, change, arms out to the side, core nice and tight, inhale, breathing, come up, arms down by your side, triangle pose, trikonasana, master posture, we're going to work on every single joint here, so toes and heels together, arms over your head sideways, her right foot step to the right, again, big step, you want at least four feet, now push your hips forward, upper body back, you're going to open up those hips naturally. Turn your right foot out. Bend your right knee and sit down. So bounce and bounce. You're sitting down nice and low. Your right thigh is parallel to the floor. Squeeze this left glute. Push the hips forward. Arms back. Open your chest. Inhale, breathing. Move just your arms. Bring that right arm down. Touch between big toe and second toe. Inhale, stretch your left arm up to the ceiling. Turn your head. There's a divot right in your shoulder. Put your chin right there. Now squeeze your left glute. Push the hip forward. Right knee back. Twist your upper body back. Left knee lock, left foot flat. Change. Inhale, come up. Your right foot turns in. Left foot turns out. Bend your left knee and sit down. Again, bounce and bounce. You want to sit down nice and low. The key to this posture, squeeze these inner thighs. So think of your pelvic bowl as a soup bowl, right? You don't want to pronate or supinate. You want to keep it nice and strong. So squeeze inner thighs. Arms back, open your chest. Inhale, move just your arms. Bring that left arm down. Touch between big toe and second toe. Be precise. Inhale, stretch your right arm up to the ceiling. Turn your head, look past your fingertips. Now squeeze the right glute, push the right hip forward, left knee back, twist your upper body back, right knee locked, right foot flat. Change, inhale, come up, arms down by your side. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. We're gonna take it down to your towel for Savasana. So Savasana is a posture. Toes, Heels are together, toes apart, arms right by your side. So palms face the ceiling, head is straight, eyes are open, breathing is normal. Your breath is your greatest asset. When you learn how to control it, you can bring calmness to the body and stillness to the mind. We'll begin our floor series with wind removing pose. So right leg lift up. Grab your right leg, 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing. And pull your right knee to your right shoulder. Make sure you avoid that rib cage. Stretch your left heel to the back of the room. Flex your left toes. Chin is tucked, neck is nice and flat. Pull harder and freeze. Change, right leg down, left leg lift up. Grab your left leg again, 10 fingers interlocked. Work on your hand strength and pull left knee to left shoulder. 
flex your right toes. If you've rolled into the left, come back to the right, square those shoulders off. Chin is tucked, neck is flat, pull harder and freeze. Change, left leg down, immediately both legs lift up. Grab your elbows over your legs. If you can't grab your elbows, try to get those wrists today. Feet together, side by side, compact position. Chin is tucked, neck is flat, shoulders relaxed. Relax your tailbone down. Try to get one more vertebra on the floor. Change, arms and legs down by your side, Savasana. So in this posture, we're creating a tourniquet effect. We're cutting off that blood flow to ankles, hips, and knees. So when you stretch back out to Savasana, you should feel all that fresh oxygenated blood rushing through, helping to heal and repair. Next is your first sit up. If you have any lower back pain, just roll over. Otherwise, listen carefully. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross only your thumbs. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Double exhale, try to grab those toes. Turn around, lie down on your stomach for the spine strengthening series. We begin with Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. So chin on the floor, hands, palms square underneath your shoulders. So fingertips in line with tops of your shoulders, baby fingers in line with the deltoids. Start to finish feet and heels together. Contract the hips and thighs. This will act as an anchor to keep your lower half of the body to the floor. Inhale, breathing. Look up to the ceiling. Lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. Come up halfway only. Only your belly button is touching the floor. Now stretch your elbows towards your hips. It brings your shoulders down. Arms always touching the body. Eyes up, chest up, go up. Change, lower down, chin on the floor for full locust. We're gonna stretch our arms out nice and wide like airplane wings. Palms are down, fingers together. Again, start to finish, feet, heels together. Contract the hips and thighs. The tighter the muscles, the lighter the muscles, the easier this posture is. Eyes up to the ceiling, inhale, breathing, arms, body, head, leg, everything lift up. Arms up, arms back, fingertips, same arm as your head. Only hip bones touching the floor at the deepest point of your posture. Stretch your arms out, inhale by the nose, exhale, inhale, and lift. Change, lower down, chin on the floor, bow pose. Working on those psoads muscles right here. So grab your feet two inches below your toes. Make sure your wrists are straight. If they're bent, it's gonna lock you up. Make sure they're nice and straight. Toes are pointed six inches between knees and feet. Eyes up to the ceiling. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Both legs kick up, kick back. Now roll forward. Continuously keep kicking. So it's about effort and ease. Relax the shoulders. Engage glutes, quads, hamstrings. Inhale, kick harder. Change, lower down. Left ear on the toe. Arms by your side, Savasana. So Savasana on your belly, toes are together, heels apart. Breathe in by the nose, exhale by the nose. Turn your right ear to the toe. Chin on the floor, hands, palms square underneath your shoulders. Push up and push back in a child's pose. So if child's pose is hard for you, just separate your knees as much as you need to. You really wanna stretch that lower spine. So walk those fingers, fingertips out one more inch. And when you're ready, we're gonna slide your hands forward until forehead touches the floor. We have a mini back bend here going. Take a deep inhale in. Big exhale, sink a little bit farther. Now come forward to a tabletop position. Your hands are in a number 11. Tuck your toes for dolphin pose. We're gonna lift your hips up toward the ceiling, creating our second inversion here. Really good to strengthen the shoulders. For any of you that play ball, it's really good rotator cuff injury prevention right here. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Change knees down. Walk your hands back up. We're gonna start our dragon series. So you're going to stand up on your knees. If I can get this on here. <laughs> I'll just put this here. Step your left leg forward. 
hands, palms are going to be square on that night on your knee. Now relax your shoulders. We're going to open up this right hip. So push your hips down and forward. Make sure you squeeze this right glute. We want to open up this psoas muscle, that right hip flexor. Switch to lizard pose. So hands come down to the inside of your left foot. You can hold it right here. If you have the mobility, turn your left foot out. Bring it down to your elbows if that feels good to you. So this is an active posture. You're actively pressing this left knee out, squeezing that right glute and pressing the floor away from you. Change, walk it back up. It's called winged dragon. So left hand on left knee. We're gonna go ahead and move that whole knee in and out. Now I want you to move your whole ankle. What that does, it creates stability and mobility. Stop in the middle, chest on thigh, press down and forward. So you want the compression in this ankle. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee above the floor. Now neck is nice and long, press the floor away from you and hold for four. Squeeze that right glute tighter, three, two, one. Change right knee down, step your left foot back and right leg forward. So it always feels a little bit different on each side. Usually when we've done one side, the second set feels a little bit more open. So again, hands, palms on that knee, shoulders relaxed. Press the hip down and forward. Again, squeezing the left glute, working on that left psoas muscle, learning how to strengthen it. Hands to the floor. Again, you can hold it right here. If you have the mobility, turn that right foot out. Come down to your elbows. Lock that left thigh a little bit. Really contract it. Press the floor away from you. Hold for three, two, one. Change, walk it back up. Right hand, right knee. Again, let's open up this right hip flexor. Move that whole ankle. Really working on the strength. Stop in the middle. Chest on thigh, press down and forward. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee up. So lock that left knee out, press the floor away from you. Neck is nice and long, squeeze that left glute, hold for four, three, squeeze tighter, two, one. Change, left knee down. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. Lie down on your back for Savasana. So we'll finish with our final stretches here. Working a little bit deeper into the hips for figure four. Everyone's gonna go ahead and bend your knees, feet are hip width apart. Right ankle over left knee. Interlace your fingers behind your left thigh and pull knees and feet towards your chest. Neck is nice and long. Now flex both your feet. Chin is tucked. Press your right elbow against that right thigh. Pull a little bit harder and freeze. Change both feet down. Left ankle over right knee. Interlace fingers behind that right thigh. Make sure this left ankle is parallel with the knee. Flex both your feet for a deeper stretch. You should feel this right in this left hip flexor. Gently press that left elbow against the knee. Chin is tucked. Pull one more inch and hold for three, two, one. Change both feet down. We'll finish with our final stretch. Turn your arms up to cactus. Right ankle over left knee. Let knees drop to the right, head goes to the left, feeling the stretch in the lower spine. Come back through center, knees drop to the left, head goes to the right. Stretch your right arm out, palm down, and gently put that left hand on right thigh for a deeper stretch in the middle of the spine. Change, come back through center, turn your arms back up, left ankle over right knee. Knees drop to the left, head goes to the right. Again, creating a little bit more energy. If you need any energy during the day, this is your posture right here. Come back through center. Knees drop to the right, head to the left. Stretch that left arm out, palm down. Gently put right hand on left thigh. Again, for deeper stretch in the lower middle spine. Change, come back through center. Arms and legs down by your side, savasana, so heels together, toes apart, palms face the ceiling. We'll finish with our box breathing here. So go ahead and close your eyes. Put one hand on your heart, 
One hand on your lower belly. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. And begin, please. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Relax your arms down. Keep your eyes closed. Just let the ground hold you here. Take a deep inhale in. And as you exhale, send the breath all the way out your fingertips. Another deep inhale in. And as you exhale, send the breath all the way out your toes. Living in the present moment is the only way to tame your mind. By noticing the light around you, the ground beneath your feet, you begin to find yourself in the here and the now. When you accept this, you begin to grow. Again, my name is Nicole. It's an honor to lead you through your 30-minute yoga practice. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.